it's time to wrap the bass drum. Now, the bass drum I've chosen is a 20 inch by 11 and 3 quarter inch. Originally, a marching drum, I believe. It had a um, single center mounted lugs uh, there, eight of them. And what I've done is I've drilled it up for 16 of the classic lugs, filled these holes, and bass drum spurs. So it's now going to be a kit drum. Now, the only drummer I know that used a drum like this uh, was Ginger Baker in Cream, certainly the early days of Cream. And I always thought that was a really cool drum and a really cool sound. So, like his, uh, we're going to do this one Silver Sparkle as well. And uh, so far uh, on this drum, I've sorted the edges out, painted up inside, and it's basically ready to wrap. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now, wrapping a bass drum is a little different from wrapping a tom. Uh, the reason is that no manufacturer makes sheets of finish that are long enough to get all the way around a bass drum. Uh, so you have to do it in two pieces. And here are my two pieces that I cut up earlier. Okay. Now, uh, this is obviously going to be the bottom part, and this is going to be everything else. So the easiest thing to do uh, is always to line up the bottom part first. So I'm going to do this on this side, then I'm going to turn the bass drum around so you can see it. So this is the bottom. Now, I'm just going to clip it in place so you can see what's happening. Okay, so basically I've clipped it in like that. Now behind these clips are the, uh, are the lug points. Okay, I want them to go beyond the lug points. Okay, that's where the overlap is going to be. I've also taken off a little bit of the plastic coating, sort of the cover of there, little sort of, I don't know, that much. You see them on both sides. Okay. Now, the other part goes all the way around. This part should line up on the lug points, okay? Should line up on the lug points, which I'm going to do right now. And there you go. Okay? That's how it is. Here's the lug points. That's the bottom of the drum. Okay, so I'll tell you. Okay. So now I'm just going to use some uh, tape just to mark it up. So the way that that's clipped now is how the finish will be on the drum uh, when it's finished. Uh, so they're basically, the spacing is the bottom piece occupies the distance between uh, one lug point here and two. That, that, that's basically, there's another lug in the middle, there's another set of lugs in the middle. So it's across uh, the distance of two kind of panels. And this is everything else. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that's it's fairly tight around the shell. I'm going to get some gaff tape, gaffer, you know, masking tape, this will be masking tape. And just mark where that point is there, where the finish, the top part of the finish ends on the bottom part. Okay, okay and do that on the other side as well. I suppose you could do with another clip here. I'm not going to do it. It's just a marker. Okay, so that's marked there. Right. Now, another piece of tape. I'm going to put this on the bottom piece. Okay. Pencil again. Mark on the tape and on the shell. 
two points that line up. Okay? Two points that line up. Same again on the top piece. About halfway round, I'm going to use about halfway round. Okay, just like that. You see that? Yeah. Okay, now that's ready to glue up so I can take these clips off. Now the important thing to, about wrapping any drum is that the surface of the drum is completely clean. Now this had a bit of lacquer on before, uh, so I've sanded that off. This, what you see, is still a bit of stain, but that's okay. Uh, so all grit, all grit, all dirt, everything off. Uh, keep it as clean as possible. Keep your surface nice and clean. Any uh, finish, make sure that's clean before you put the glue on. Right, everything now is ready to glue up. I'm going to put uh, a coat of glue on both of these sides of the finish, on the underside, and then on here on the outside, all the way around, all the way around of the drum. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've glued up the drum and the finish, and I've been waiting about 20 minutes for it to dry. Um, just a couple of notes, practical things. Uh, basically, make sure you always get the edges of the finish and the drum. Uh, what I've done, which I should have mentioned before, is that I've actually taped over the holes so the glue doesn't go in. Also, I've been using this Evo Stick Impact not my first choice. Um, the trouble is with this, with this one is that there's a lot of fumes, uh, so it's always good to have the windows open. Also, following the instructions on that one, it's flammable and lots of other things. Um, the, my first choice is 3M Fast Bond NF. That's water dispersed, uh, no fumes, very easy to apply, uh, very, very easy to use. But I'm using this one because I need to practice with it. So here's the drum. Start with the bottom first. Here's the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to stand this up. I'm going to stand this up. I'm just okay. The bottom of the drum is this side. So I'm just going to bring the drum to the finish. Now I'm actually going to. It's only a small piece, so I'm not worried too much about it. Make sure it sticks. Okay, that's all, that's all lined up. I'm just using a, an old piece of cloth here just to rub the finish down. It's all sticking. So I've just applied that now, so this is what it looks like there, okay, all stuck down. Uh, now as you can see I've masked off this area, this area needs glue on and this area needs glue on. So I'm going to put some contact adhesive on these areas uh, now. So I've just put some uh, contact adhesive on those two areas where the overlap is going to be and I've just pulled the masking tape off immediately. Uh, so I get a nice clean line where the finish should end. Um, should end. Um, I'm gonna, I've left that to dry for five, ten minutes, and now I'm going to do the other part. Okay, so the same sort of thing. There's just more of it. Uh, I've got my line here. The finish is here. Okay, it's gone tacky. It's gone tacky. I'm just going to line up, again I'm going to bring the drum to the finish, bring the drum to the finish. 
that's nice and flat, nice and horizontal, so it's not going on a, at an angle. Okay. Right, I'm just going to start pushing this round. Pretty good, pretty good. Always check that it's stuck everywhere. I go back the other way now. Just make sure there's no air bubbles or anything caught underneath the finish. Okay, that stuck down pretty good. Just turning it over now, I just want to make sure that it's all stuck on this edge as well. And again, I'll just keep rubbing this down, make sure there's no more air bubbles left in there. Make sure it's all um, stuck down nicely everywhere. I don't want any areas where it's not stuck down at all. Okay, I'll continue rubbing that down for another minute or so, but that's it, basically that's it finished. Um, tomorrow when the glue is dry better, uh, edges and uh, then drill out for the lugs, all sorted.